Hey, I hope everyone had a great 4th of July. This is the week after, and it's Gabe Monroy with NerdTech AI. Wanted to give you a few updates on Air AI. So uh, these are just small, but I uh, just wanted to give you a few updates here real quick because they've made me happy. A lot of people are... Uh, creating uh, multiple different agents for different scenarios. And one of the things that was a limitation, uh, if I go into one of our test agents here, uh, let's see here, oh, let me log out of this one. Uh, all right, sorry about that, just had to log into the right account. So if I click into one of my test agents here, and if we look at the post call notes, um, I like to modify this. It always gives you like a template, um, but they're way too long. So I'll say something like, uh, give me a concise summary of the human answers to the bots questions, something like that. And this is gonna be a little bit more concise than what it defaults to. We can save this. And then the other thing you've seen me do in my videos is set up stats tracking. And when we set up stats tracking, we set up other custom uh, call outcomes here. So it comes default booked appointment and follow up and do not call list. The problem is if somebody says uh, not interested or wrong number, it's just going to label it as a follow up. Not interested, sometimes it'll mark it as a DNC, which we don't want to do because not interested are not a DNC. DNC should only be people who are mad and say, take me off your list, don't ever call me again. Not interested could actually just be cold follow ups where you might want to follow up with the, them again in. Uh, six months to a year, uh, but DNCs are serious, so we don't want to get those too confused. So um, if you click track outcome, create new outcome, then you can say like wrong number, you can add a new outcome, and then you want to keep it on automatic tracking, that's the best, and then down here we'll just give it a prompt that says human says you have the wrong number. And then uh, same thing, if we wanted to add a not interested, then we could label this one not interested. And all of this is going to do is make your call outcomes more accurate so that when you're filtering through the recordings and to see what happened, uh, if you have a whole bunch of calls, you might want to filter through uh, you know, the booked appointments and the follow-ups first before you go and check the not interested or wrong numbers. If you're first setting up Air AI, I recommend checking all of your calls, even if the wrong number are not interested. You might find that it labeled some incorrectly. Uh, that could be due to your prompting here or uh, other issues in the script, and you want to get that fixed. So I highly recommend always listening to your calls as much as possible. So this would be uh, human says they are not interested in learning more. So something like that. All right, so one of the newest updates with Air, like I said, it's small, but it's in relation to these post call notes and those custom outcomes. If we don't like this script or we want to try a new script, we would go back to create and say this is our original script. We would click on clone right here. If we hover over it, you'll see it says duplicate agent. So we'll click on that. And what it's going to do is it's going to copy this and put the word copy in the front so we can see that we've duplicated this agent or script. So if I click into this agent here and I go to post call notes, boom, we can see that it's actually copied this prompt that I've created and under setup stats tracking, we still have the same custom stats there, the outcomes that we've created. Uh, a lot of people have not noticed this, but a lot of the support calls I get whenever I do build outs into Go High Level or my Nerd Tech AI platform where we can really enhance this and make it more powerful, we, cr we use these outcomes to trigger other automations. So if somebody comes and duplicates their agent and these aren't the same, then it's going to change some of those automations I create for people. Well, this did not used to duplicate. It used to default to the um, basic, uh, just the booked appointment follow-ups and the DNC whenever you copied, and people didn't know that. And every single time you cloned an agent, they would only clone the script and not the uh, post outcome call notes or the stats tracking. So this is a really great feature that just helps keep the uh, keep the scripts in line with what you created from the beginning. And usually, if you're working with the same industry, you typically want the stats tracking the call notes to be pretty much the same from script to script uh, or maybe slightly changed. So uh, this is going to really help you guys stay organized. And I just want to show you 
that little update with air they've got more updates to come also one last update is they had some bugs where there were some weird pauses and different things to the script they've I would say 90% fix that. It's much, much better than it was two weeks ago. So if you're seeing that problem, definitely go and try your scripts again. Uh, and they are also still continuing to make it better in the coming weeks as well. So there's some really great stuff to come ahead. Uh, stay patient. You know, I think it's a, a really great product. And when coupled with uh, texting on top of Go High Level or my Nerd Tech platform, it really makes it powerful. So if you need help with any of these automations or integrations, please feel free to book a free appointment below and we can discuss how I can help you in your business. So have a great rest of the week, guys.